Hello and welcome, Neil Ellis here from Tax TV and today I've got Caleb on, so Caleb, uh, great to have you on mate. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have a, a, a bit of discussion about the Lincoln game, but more importantly going on for Forest Green Rovers, it's going to be a, a big game this coming up for the uh, weekend. So Caleb, I saw you before game mate and we, we both said 2-1 Barnsley, but uh, Lincoln scored one, but we couldn't find his two goals. Yeah. What do you make it game, Caelan, on Lincoln? No one was on like the best game. They were just thinking, oh, it's a, I, I, I think they was just thinking, oh, it's a night game. The fans will just not care. But they need to try, even if it's just a night. They, it's just, I don't know. Were you disappointed in the... We didn't really have any shots on goal, did we, to be fair? You know, yeah. I think Norwood and Devante Cole were trying their best to create spaces, but the ball won't get into them quick enough, were it? Nobody was helping them. They were just, somebody was calling for it all the time, but they just went with the bad op option where they're getting pushed. Mm. Yeah, that was my worry as well. I mean... First half, we seem to be pass passing ball, but we're passing it sideways and back, sideways and back. For for me, we're missing that like uh, killer instinct, that final yeah. pass to you know creative side. Did did you get that as well? Where you saw it passing sideways and backwards? Yeah, I just when we got like close to the box, it was like back, back. We we just didn't get it into box. I I was thinking, what can we do with that? We can't do mm. anything. Mm. And, it, and it's, yeah, it's a fair point what you've just made there. We can't do it with because at the end of the day, it can be as tight as you can be at uh, our defence, but one mistake in their score. But if we're not creating out, then got, at the end of the day, you know, Caleb, as well, is that goal, you've got to score goals to win games, haven't you? Yeah. We, we just when they score, heads down, just give up. That's what they Yeah, I mean, was. yeah, I mean, I think it was well, it comes to coming to worst time as well. You know, on stroke at half time, they scored. Um, a few people behind for said they were offside, but I've I've seen more people like I say were onside. You know, it, uh, it kind of dropped too deep, and then in the second half again, we come out, but. Didn't really offer out as such. We didn't really offer a threat or out, did we? You know, we had yeah. corners and free kicks, but not what we're going for us, was it? We could hold them off, but uh attacking was fine, uh defending. Just nobody helps them get back. Sometimes they do, but then when they get back, they just let them run past them. Mm. I mean, he made some changes in midfield, didn't he? You know, uh took you know, Benson off and Kane tried to brought Phillips on and tried to make a difference, but it just won't working. Um, I I just felt that it was well, going to be one of those games where I think if we'd still been playing now, I don't think we'd have scored. If, if you know what I mean, it was one of them kind of games where we weren't doing it. Would it? Mm, it just couldn't do anything without passing backwards. So I mean, Duff got asked question after the game. You know. No goals now. I'm just looking at uh, uh, his fixtures here. We lost 2 0 against Exeter. Uh, we drew an to piece against Bolton. Lost 1 0 at Markham. Lost 1 0 with Lincoln. <coughs> so, you know, we're playing games, four games via no goals. So it's highlighted problem. And he got asked a question, you know, what, what do you need to do it? And he said, well, Thursday and Friday in training, we need to know. You know, we need to concentrate on that. And I think it's fair to say we need to start creating chances, don't we, Caelan, for the strikers? Yeah, it's just... The, the the attacking is on point, except for when we start pushing back, mm. when we have free space. So, yeah, 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 I get what you mean with that. Yeah, so... Yeah, when you look at st uh, statistics, when you compare for, you know, like for like, and you can read a bit into it and say, yeah, we've had this position, that position, but when you're not actually attacking and, and taking game to them, it doesn't really mean all. I think 
There's only one stat that I'm looking out for, and that's the uh, amount of goals we can score. <laughs> I think that's the only stat uh, we need. So, Forest Green Rovers coming up, um, Caleb, on Saturday. What needs to change? Would you bring anybody in? Would you change it up a bit, mate? I'd push down the attacking because they're doing fine. But the defence, if I, if I was doing training with him, I would work defence, defence, defence. That's all we need to work on. And the midfield getting back, just need to work on the defence. Would you be Would you be looking at working on midfield as well for someone to, obviously Luke Thomas is out injured, so would you be working on a player or players in midfield to try and create something for, you know, to get attack, um, Norwood or Cole or H if he plays a chance, would you would you be working on something different in there and we we can try and create a bit of I don't know, a bit of urgency in midfield as well? Yeah. Who do you think would be best player sorted? With Thomas being out, who, who would you think could take that position and say, yeah, do you know what, we can create something? Who would you like to see take over? It's hard because we don't have any, like, I feel everybody on the bench, except for, like, Jarno, um, is, like, not on point there. They're not mm. there. Mm. Uh, it's, it's an hard, it's, hard, it's yeah. an hard position to fill. I think I'd like to see, I'd like to see Benson in that position a bit further up front because, for me, he has that bit of a, he has a shot on goal. He, he, you know, he can hit a ball decent. Um, but I know Martin's been playing there. Aitchison has been playing yeah. there. And done formation, but I'd like to see keep the three at back, two wing backs. I'd like to see Williams come back uh, at, at, at right hand side. Midfield, midfield. I'd like to see Luke O'Connell, Herbie Kane, and. Push Benson a bit further forward behind Aitchison and Cole. I think Aitchison, because he were on loan at Forest Green Rovers for the last couple of seasons, I think he might want to prove a point and all being like and score a few goals. Would you have Aitchison or would you have Cole and Norwood up front? What what strikers would you have up front? Mm, Cole and Norwood because they're, they're always trying. But the ball can't get to them. They get into mm. space, and then they have a, the person who's on the ball there have a look, see Norwood in space free. They decide to pass it somewhere else. Mm. Yeah, good. Yeah, that is a good point, Matt, because that happened a few times that we uh, Norwood were making runs at Lincoln, yeah. and ball were either getting over it or were playing wrong ball altogether. So it had to like stop and then redo it again so good point that mate yeah good point so that's something else to work on as well in training to when you're in the final third if someone's made that run you pass the ball to them straight away and you don't like wait because opportunity could go oh it could be offside as well couldn't you yeah um they do you know every team we play they're always getting long balls straight through so what yeah. we do though, we just can't do anything with him. Yeah, I have noticed that, mate. And I did, I think it was, uh, I forgot which game it was now, going back. I think it was early on in the season. Um, and I noticed that they were, the opposition were hitting long balls and were sent to be hitting it into the full-back area because for like loads of space for them were cutting in. Yeah. And again, it's something else that, like what you've just said there, we get it and we we always play the, the wrong final ball, whereas other, I mean, like Lincoln, ideal, they got it, had a look, hit it, straight into space, run onto it and scored. So again, yeah. it's there's a lot, there's a lot, there's different areas on pitching to ever work on in training, isn't there? Yeah, that, that's just something that we don't, can't score. Uh, mm. Attacking, fine. Passing, need to work on it. We just can't get the ball in the back of the net. And that's what it's all down to winning games, isn't it? Getting ball back at net. So it kind of leads us on to his like last question, this. So on about getting ball back at net, right? 
Uh, score prediction, what are you saying? Hard because it is a drawing. Mm. I'm gonna do you want me to go first and you'll yeah. have a go, yeah, right. So I'm thinking now we have got to sooner or later, someone's got to go his way. I'm going to take 2 0 Barnsley, 2 0 Barnsley, because I'm thinking it's gone on long enough now. I'm hoping he's had two days to address it. And at home, you've got such a kitchen up against his ex side, yeah. Nicky Cadden. I think there's a lot of players. I'm saying 2 0 Barnsley. So, your, your go. I'm saying 2 for 1 to them win 1 0 or. If we win 3-0. I think I think we'll agree on this, is that the, the first goal is going to be important, in it? I think if we can get a first goal, it'll take that bit of pressure off front fans and a bit of relief for us, and it gives us a bit more freedom to go get another, all being well. Mm. Three points. Three points and a bounds of win, then, uh, Saturday, Caleb, yeah? Yeah. That's what we need. So, Caleb, as always, it's been a pleasure to have you on. Uh, get you on again soon. All being well after the weekend game. We can be talking about a bounce of win, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. okay. Yeah, fingers crossed, yeah. Well, Caleb, as always, it's been a pleasure uh, being on, mate. I've really appreciated it. Uh, for everybody watching, please leave your comments, uh, like, subscribe and share below. One thing left to say, you Reds. Thank <laughs> you.